This is Rap the News. Deceiving even the very elect. How would the elect get deceived? Because the deception is right in the pages of the book. If you do a biblical search and type in the God of Israel, why is it that he is only mentioned one time in the New Testament and 87 times in the Old Testament? It's because they replace the God of Israel with a false God and you are being deceived. God said that he was going to break the pride of your arrogancy and that he was coming back to destroy all of the proud off of the land. Christians are the hardest people to talk to about the truth because they bought the lie and a lot of them are too arrogant to say I was wrong I'm in error they keep on with the lie and trying to make the lie into some type of truth and then they black out anybody who was trying to tell them the truth as if God is going to buy that God is going to say, I sent my messenger, wrap the news to you. And he tried to explain to you the truth that I conveyed to him. And you were too arrogant to hear me. Because these are his words. And then your recompense is hell. Y'all can't do the fire. Like I said a billion times. Turn on the stove and get in there. Turn on the stove and lay your body across it, the eyes and tell me if you can do fire. You can't do the smoke. You can't do the heat. You can't do the lack of food. You can't do no water. You cannot do that based on some stupid pride. It's the reason why the God of Israel was left out of the New Testament. Stick with me and find out instead of being proud and going to hell because y'all going to get left behind. If the Bible is the book of God, how did they totally leave out the one and only God of Israel so that the heathen could take revenge? And you're like, no, this couldn't be possible. It is on God for totally leaving them out and only giving the promise to the children of Abraham's seed. Watch. Genesis twenty two eighteen. And in thy seed, O Abraham, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. The promise was only given to Abraham. No promise was given to Gentiles. Let's keep going. Genesis seventeen ten. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you, and that's me and Abraham and your children after you. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. The house of Abraham is called the circumcision. The Gentiles are called the uncircumcised. Whether they circumcised or not. 1 Kings 8.56 Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. So who was promised? Israel. The world was not promised. Gentiles were not promised. Only Abraham's seed was promised. And we're going to get into why they changed in the Bible and doing all this uh, witchcraft in it. Galatians 3.14 That the blessing of Abraham and, and now this is the New Testament might come on the Gentiles. Is that what God said? Did God say the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles? No, the book is totally changed and fabricated. The New Testament is through Jesus Christ. Did God say that? Malachi 3 6, go look it up. God never changed. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Did God say that? So here's what Christ said. And a lot of you guys don't want to hear it. 
that man must live by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. He that is of God hears God. Who is talking there? Paul? And what is he telling you? That the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you 100%. Jesus Christ is a newly formed pagan God. And there is another Christ. And that is Jesus of Nazareth. One is sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel to bring them back to the Torah. And the other is sent to the world to be the light of the world. The sun God, a.k.a. The, the bright morning star, which is the same as Lucifer. Okay, let's keep going. And so the heathen made a God that would leave out Abraham's seed called the circumcision. And then here it is right there in black and white. Galatians 5, 2, same person, Paul. I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall not profit you. So why is any black person in the religion of Christianity? That Paul already told you that the God he made up don't profit the Hebrew, don't profit the black man, don't profit the slave. It only profits Gentiles. They have taught you that you were a Gentile like them. They have taught you that you were African and it's all lies. They taught you that they went to the moon and they never did. They taught you that the sun, uh, the earth rotated around the sun and it don't. 1 Corinthians 1.23 But we preach Christ crucified. It's a stumbling block for the Jews, the Hebrews. Right? Because if you look at the other video that I put out, and it's called, All the Prophets Were Black. And then I'm breaking out all of the scriptures that show you that there was never any white prophet. All the prophets were black in the land of the east, which was black, in the midst of Africa. Right? And these black people hid in Africa that were called Israelites. White people could not hide in Israelite. I mean, in, in Africa. So what do we what do we got so far? That the God of Israel was totally left out of the New Testament so that they can hand you a Jesus Christ that they can be blessed by and since God left them out of the covenant and only blessed Abraham's children and not the Gentile seed, the Gentiles reversed it, made a God, and then said the circumcised is not welcome with a God. If you be circumcised, Christ don't profit you nothing. Christ don't do nothing for the seed of Abraham. That should let you know something is wrong. Because if the seed of Abraham is God's blessed chosen people, then why is not Christ profiting them? It ain't because they turned their back on Christ, which is a fictitious uh, business to collect money from the church. But we preach Christ crucified. Did Jesus? No. They preached in a false doctrine, a stumbling block for the Jews. Why would the Jews, the Christ crucified, be a stumbling block for the Jews? Again, because they didn't believe? Because there's a whole lot of people that are Jewish. They're not the real Jews, but they're Jewish. They believe on Jesus, don't they? Because they, they're Gentiles. Let's keep going. The Bible changed God's name from Yahweh to Jehovah to Lord. Why? Again, the Bible changed God's name from Yahweh to Jehovah to Lord. Let's find out. Because God's chosen people would never accept a new God. You can't say, oh, you guys worship this God now, this new Jesus that we made up. Nobody in the Old Testament heard of Jesus. If he'd been there with the Father the whole damn time, why did God keep him a big secret? Why didn't nobody worship him before? 
Why didn't nobody pray in his name before if God never changed? If he was God, then why nobody knew his name was Jesus? Because it's a lie. It's a made up, fabricated lie. Who have changed, that's what it says, the truth of God into a lie and served and worshiped the creature more than the creator. Romans 125, right? Because God's chosen people would never accept a new God, so the word wizards changed God's holy name from Yahweh into Lord. Then the heathens transgressed God's law that stated in Deuteronomy 4 2, you shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish anything from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. So God commanded the world to keep the commandments. Jew and Gentile the world ain't keeping the commandments because the doctrine of men said they not under the law they under grace and it ain't by works it's by faith lies deception Hosea 13 4 you shall know no God but me for there is no savior beside me if in Malachi 3 6 God don't ever change then why is it different in the New Testament why is God being left out and Christ is being promoted? Because God was replaced by Christ and everyone knows it. The Most High God who is Lord and Savior, name and title was blasphemed by the Gentiles when they made the blasphemous statement, Jesus now is Lord and Savior. Tell me this, if God never changes and, and, and the Son and the Father are one, then why wasn't Jesus Lord and Savior when in the time of Moses when the, when the children of Israel went astray how come Jesus didn't come save us from captivity how come Jesus ain't saved nobody before because he a made up fictitious business uh, license Romans 2.24 for the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles as it is written how when you call Jesus Lord and Savior and now you're only going by that name there is no other name that you can be saved by. You totally blasphemed God's name and made God's name vain. They purposely left out four commandments out of the New Testament. And these are the four commandments. You shall have no gods before me. You shall have no graven images. Make not the Lord's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. The truth makes Christians upset because, just like I said, when you accepted the lie, it's hard to understand the truth. To understand why, just look at what they did. Stop listening to people and look at what they did. You shall have no gods before me. What did they do? John 14, 16. No man then comes to the Father but by me. You can't even get to God. Because now there's a God in, before God. That's why they left out that commandment. Second commandment they left out. You shall have no graven images. Colossians 1.15 Christ who is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. They worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Who was blessed forever more. Amen. That's what they're doing right now. They're worshipping and serving the creature more than the creator because they're telling you who the creature is Christ who is the what the graven image of the invisible God and God and God said what you shall have no graven images so what they handed you a God and put they God in front of your God breaking commandment number one commandment number two they made Christ into a graven image and you bought that graven image if somebody show you a picture of Caesar with his name Burgess or whatever, Borges, uh, you will say that's Jesus, which you bought the graven image lie, that you bought the image of the beast. Number three, make not the Lord's name in vain. Again, I already told you. Vain definition is futile and useless. Now watch this. Watch the Lord's name be taken in vain. Acts 4.12 Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind which we must be saved. So now God, as a Savior, 
name is in vain because now there is no other name found under heaven where you can be saved. So now you ain't calling on God to be saved. You're calling on a fictitious business license, Jesus. It's the license to burn in hell. Again, they transgress God's law with state in Job 2, 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever call, call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then you got one more that I forgot to put on there. And that was, um, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And that one's the easy one because they changed the Sabbath into sun worshiping day, Sunday. They changed it from Friday, which is God says that everything should be from even to even. That's how the day starts. The day starts the, the day before in even. So when the sun go down on Friday, that's when the Sabbath start until the sun go down on Saturday. From even to even. That's what's written. They changed it to sun worshiping day because they worship the sun. The Lord our God is a sun. That's what they wrote in there. God is not a sun. He's the creator of the sun. You know. Jesus is the bright morning star. The sun. Lucifer is the morning star. The sun. They sun worshipers. See what else they did. They transgress the law that says, God's law that states, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord God shall be saved. And they change it to what? There is no other name that we must be saved. Who is we? It ain't black people because we're not included. The religion is uh, of Christianity and Christ crucified that's being preached to the Gentiles. The Hebrew and the circumcised and the Jew is not included, says Paul. We just read it. Let's go back up there and read it again. I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised of the house of Abraham, the circumcision, Christ shall not profit you. We not included. 1 Corinthians 1.23 But we preach Christ crucified. This is a stumbling block for the Jews, the Hebrews. You're not included. It, Christ don't work for you. you. You get no profit off of him. Why? Because they was blocked out. And only the seed of Abraham was accepted. And so now they only accept in Gentiles. Y'all should understand what's going on in the Bible. The devil hath taken it over. Him and his children. And then watch this. For all those who are still ignorant. The definition of Lord means God. Even etymology plays around with that name. You know. But they say in there. When you get past all of the mumbo jumbo. Lord's definition is God. Translating Latin, Dominus, Greek, Kairos, in the New Testament, and then in the Old Testament, the Hebrew word is Yahweh, which means God. That's what Lord means. So every time you say Lord Jesus, and you accept in Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, you accept in Jesus as your God and your Savior. And then what did God say that you transgress in the law? Who, and it shall come to pass that who shall ever call on the name of the Lord God, that's the most high God of Israel, shall be saved. Now it's confusion because now you think Lord God means Lord Jesus. And that's what the aim was in the first place, to make you uh, confuse the two. You know, and then worship the one. Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. So there is not another Lord besides the most high God of Israel. Right? And what they do to Most High God of Israel? They left him out. The God of Israel was left out of the New Testament. Right? Let's keep going. Zechariah 14 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord. Not the Lord Jesus Christ and the Most High God, the Lord. There's only one Lord. God said, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory shall I not give to another. Then why does Jesus Christ have glory? Because somebody is a liar. Mark 12, 29, and Jesus answered, 
and this is the Christ of Nazareth, not Christ crucified. Two different Christs. The first of all commandments is hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The other one is saying, hey, Philip, if you've seen God, you see me. And then the same breath you saying, no man has seen God at any time except for the Son. That's just fucking ignorant. And I'm just, I do mean it's ignorant. So by the hand of the heathen, Jesus that was sent to the lost sheep of Israel was transformed into the Lord Christ crucified, sent to the world as seen below. Now watch how they did this. Matthew 10, 5. These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter into no towns of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which all the prophets did. Why would he then die and come back and only talk to Paul and say, now take this message to the Gentiles? When God don't change, and it says right in the Bible, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. If he said go nowhere among the Gentiles when he was alive, how are you going to come back dead in a, in a ball of light in the desert? When he said, if anybody said they see him in the desert, don't go nowhere near that. And all of y'all is going somewhere near that because y'all all deceived and duped. Matthew 15, 24. I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, says the real Christ. Now we have Christ crucified. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. It's a total different doctrine. 1 John 4, 9. God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Who is we? The dead. The Gentiles. See, so watch this. God separated the, the sons of Adam from the, when he divided from the from the Gentiles when he divided them their inheritance. Google that. God separated the sons of Adam from the nations, the Gentiles. That tell you that the Gentiles are not of the sons of Adam. They are the sons of Satan, and they are. There's only angels, mankind, and devils. They are the, the, the devil, and they are. And that's why they cast out, just like the devil. That's why they got 40 in two months. That's why they have the time of the Gentiles, the same time Satan got the respite until the time the dead are arised. We don't have that by the time they are the losers. So they're saying God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Because Christ is the first begotten of the dead. And God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. See how y'all getting duped. And then when I'm telling them that they just shaking their heads. And you'll be going to hell. So now there are two gods being preached in the Bible. Masking as one. There is the God of Israel. So Psalms 59, number 5. Thou therefore, O God of hosts, the God of Israel, nor the God of America, nor the God of the white man, nor the God of the Gentiles, nor the God of the European nations, nor the God of the Asians, nor the God of everybody. No, he said, I'm the God of Israel. All throughout the Old Testament, he said, I'm the God of Israel. And I'm only blessing Israel's seed. And so Paul did what? Have grace more abounded through my lie. Type that in. Right? And the lie he told was they worship and serve the creature more than the creator. So he made a creature so y'all can worship him, the beast. And y'all are worshiping the image of the beast knowingly and unknowingly. Psalm 72, 18. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who only does wonderful things. The God of Israel. That's the key word. That's why it's in red. First Chronicles 17, 24. Let it be established that the name that thy name may be magnified forever. Why is Christ's name magnified? Why is there no uh, name under heaven that we must be saved by now? Because it's a lie. Saying that the Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel. And let the house of David, thy servant, be established before thee. The house of the Gentiles, the house of the European nations, America. No, he ain't talking about y'all. You guys were the people doomed to the fire. 
If you didn't know, everywhere that the, the slave went in the transatlantic slave trade that was scattered across the nations, God is going to destroy that nation. That's what the Bible says. Exodus 5, 1. And after Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, which is Pharaoh is a what? An African Gentile. Thus said the Lord of God of Israel, let my people go. Did he call the people of Pharaoh his people? He, the, who were Gentiles? No. He only called the Hebrews his people. And he said he was what? I'm the God to Israel. I'm the God of Israel. To and of. Right? And I don't write none of these words. Neither do you. It was here when we got here, wasn't it? Then there, there's the pagan God added in, the, in by the heathens whom the Gentiles worship. So we are worshiping two different gods. The people with sense, white, black, yellow, green, and brown, is only worshiping the true God, the living God of Israel, the one that don't die, the eternal God. And they are watch, worshiping the, the, the dead that was risen. And that's what they're worshiping. They're worshiping the first begotten of the dead. Then there's the pagan God added by the heathens whom the Gentiles worship. Jude 1, number 4. For there are certain men crept in underwears who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our God. See, there's the God of Israel, and then there is their God, these Gentiles' God, into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this. Ain't God one Lord? Didn't we just. What? See, we have to go back up because they forget. Hear, O Israel, Moses told you, the Lord our God is one Lord. Don't, do they not got two Lords? Yes. They got the Lord God. And our Lord. God ain't our Lord. See it's only God and the devil. Their Lord is the devil. Your Christ is the devil. Please watch my videos and learn man. Again. There is our God. And that's the Lord of Israel. And their God. Which is Jesus Christ. That's their Lord. Lord means God. Go back up to it, because I know. Etymology. Yahweh is our God. Lord means God. John 118, New International Version. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God. Did God ever say that in, in, in the Old Testament? That Jesus is God? No. Was there a Jesus Christ as Lord in the Old Testament next to God when he said there is no God beside me? Ain't he a God in the New Testament? Didn't God say there is none? You shall know no, no God but me? Why do they know another God and they good with it? Because they're all going to hell. The whole church is going to hell. 1 Corinthians 8.6 But to us there is one Lord Jesus Christ. I just left out all the marble jarble and got to the point. There is one Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not the God of Israel. Jesus Christ was sent to the world to die for their sins. He is the God of the dead. Our God is the living God, the eternal God. These are two different gods. Right in the Bible. 2 Thessalonians 1.12 That the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified. God in the Old Testament said, my glory shall I not give to another. 
neither my praises to graven images. And that's your graven image. And y'all giving all praises to Christ. Romans 16, 24. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Before it was peace be upon you. That all the prophets said. Now they're giving grace be on you. Through Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5, 9. Obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. When God said call on my name and be saved. They made God's name in vain and they gave Christ all the glory. All power is given to me, right, from my God, right, from my father. Who is the father? Satan. Where does the book tell you that? Revelations, right, that all power was given to the first beast, right, or the, or the second beast, whichever beast received all power from the first beast. And Christ crucified preached unto the Gentiles. Christ crucified was preached unto the Gentiles. 1 Timothy 3.16 Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness because your God is false. God was manifest in the flesh. Never. The, 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 here's what God said. Our God of Israel is the highest of the highest God. You know, there's no God higher than him. There is no God but him. But he higher than all they fake gods. God is in the highest heaven. And he says, the heavens of heavens of heavens of heavens cannot contain him. How he in a white body? Because that's what coming in the flesh is. Uh, the Gentiles, it says, remember formerly that you are Gentiles of the flesh. So they saying Christ came in the body of a Gentile. Right? And this is the fake Christ. The other one is Hebrew. Or of Hebrew. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen the angels, and preached to these Gentiles. Because Christ don't profit the black man. He was preached to the Gentiles. Christ don't profit the Hebrew. Come on, y'all got to snap out of it. All you people, all you, all you Hebrews worshiping Christ, y'all are in error. Romans eleven thirteen. For I speak to you Gentiles, not Hebrews, Gentiles. This Christ crucified is deception for the Gentiles. Satan fooled the nations. All the Gentile nations from every corner. In so as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office, which is arrogancy. Not God is magnifying the office. He is. Right? And Jesus said, what? The real Christ? Go nowhere near the Gentiles. So we know this dude is a false prophet. Second Timothy 1.11 We're unto you I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. No, the black man. Not the Gentiles. 1 Corinthians 1.23 But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews is a stumble, stumbling block and unto the Greeks is foolish. Galatians 2.20 I am Christ I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. But the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son, not by God, the faith in Jesus Christ. There is no faith in God here. They worship in the devil. So what it says, the nations sacrifice unto the devil. They sacrifice unto devils and not to God. Every prophet was always sent to the the children of Israel and never to the world so you have been lied to you have been deceived and all of you Christians who believe in this false Messiah and this false Christ of the Gentiles y'all all going to hell because there is only one God and one Lord and that is the most high God of Israel you are deceived this is Rap the News